pocket Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go And there's short time to get there so we're here in beautiful downtown Port Coquitlam with Mayor Greg Moore. Greg, tell us a little bit about your city. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Port Coquitlam is a town of 58,000 people. We're, we've got a nice little downtown core surrounded by uh, single-family residential, an excellent industrial area. We're located right in Metro Vancouver, and it's a great place. You know, we're, we're, we call ourselves, we got a small town charm with big city connections into the city of Vancouver. So Greg, the infrastructure challenges that we all face, support Coquitlam no stranger going from really being the, you know, the typical suburban sprawl to uh, trying to bring in some density. Wonderful projects you're getting done. Tell us how you're getting these projects done in Port Coquitlam. You've got the Gates Park upgrades, of course, the Coast Meridian overpass, hundreds of millions of dollars in investment in your community. How are you doing this when everybody else is struggling? Well, we're really trying to figure out, you know, in our past, our previous councils did a good job putting reserves away so that we could build some of our major infrastructure, like our Coast Meridian overpass, a $132 million project. We were lucky, though, to have $60 million of that come from our transit authority to help create that connection in our community and create a connection for goods movement. But going forward, we see real challenges, whether it's with growth uh, and the infrastructure that's under the ground to service that, and then also planning for long-term infrastructure change uh, because we know that the pipes only have a certain amount of life and that we have to figure out how collectively not only just as local government provincial and federal we work together to address some of these challenges and like our town uh, and most towns across Canada you've got a railroad yard here and the railway going right through your community always a challenge uh, how, how do you how are you working on those challenges so we do we have the biggest rail yard in uh, British Columbia here in Port Coquillum it completely divides we have a north side and a south side of our community uh, but working with CP to understand what they need to ensure that they can have goods movement to help foster the growth of the economy for Canada at the same time our local concerns whether that's access to goods movement for our industrial or allowing our community to get around our community without having uh, to have the trains get in the way. So we need to work with them. We are working with them. and uh, But it's a challenge that we have that's not unlike many communities across this country. Right, and, and you seem to be doing a great job of it. Anything else you want to add? You know, I think it's important that as local government we continue to work together because I think our challenges here in Port Coquitlam, Port Moody Coquitlam are going to be the same that we're going to learn in Alberta and Saskatchewan and Manitoba and Ontario and right across this country. So as local governments, we got to figure out how we can present to the federal and our provincial government counterparts on how our infrastructure issues are as important to us as they should be to them. And that's what FCM is all about, bringing everybody together to talk about our common issues. So uh, looking forward to seeing all the other cities as we move across the country. Myself as well. Great. Thanks, Rick.